Hey guys, my name is Darren Addison. I'm the owner and founder of a company called Torpedo Pond, where we make self-growing planters. These planters grew about, about 50 to 60 radish so far. And it's time to make a changeover in the season right now because it's in the middle of winter. And my weather changed today where it got really great that my plants are starting to bounce back. And so I'm going to clean all these out and take all of the remaining beets and put them into one planter. You can watch me. And then I'm going to start sowing seeds in the middle of winter. Remember now, when it ends in March, right? So these torpedo pots grew these beets and now they're going to grow a whole brand new season of beets for me. In other words, I can grow beets for the rest of my life in these torpedo pots self-growing plants and so let's get started what we're gonna do is start cleaning them out we were able to harvest beets as big as six inches in these planters at one time we harvest the beets as long as I would say about 12 inches in one planter. You choose the crop that you want. What we did is that we put beets in the planter and the big beets we take out, and the beets that remain, um, either we replant them someplace else or we just eat them and finish them up. We start with a new crop. So this is what remains and gleaning the fields after we've got our crops, okay? Now I can let these remain in here and grow, but now nah, I'm not gonna do that. Because I wanna put it in a new crop. And this is a great time to put your beet seeds in. Oh, they still look good, don't they? Oh my gosh, they look great. Guys, these are torpedo pots. These are self-growing planters. You see that knob on the front of that planter? When you turn that, it waters and feeds your plants for you. You don't have to do any more work. And all you do is harvest and harvest and harvest your food. The soil on these planters right here, my gosh, they'll last you a good five years, four to five years. They just keep putting seeds in, keep putting stuff in. And they look fantastic. And these are just what's left over after we've had so many of them, okay? This is just what's remaining. But to a lot of you, that's pure gold. Yes, it is. Because we grow them using a biotic system that grows your food for you. You don't need to grow your food anymore. It does it for you. You simply take your seeds and your plants, put them in this planter, and you walk away for the rest of the year and you do nothing else. Now, not only did we have beets in these planters, but we had, uh, I didn't realize so many of those. Oh my gosh. Switch gears. Clean this out. We also have a uh, kale in the planter. So we're growing kale also. Just want to get out of the debris because when I put my seeds down, I want them to stick. So I'm just moving all of the debris just out of the way. Now all this is great soil. You don't really need to add any more soil for this growing season. But we're also growing kale. We'll be eating off of, and as a tradition, we just let it grow, grow, grow. I think we'll pull these two out and let this one remain inside of here because this constantly grows and it's beautiful. And I always eat off of it. This kale is amazing. It just grows and grows. Look how many, don't you see how many lines are on the side of that kale that we've eaten off of? Look how firm it is in that plant. Man, dude, that's amazing. So I'm gonna pull these out. And then we're gonna let you see the root system in the wintertime. Guys, these are torpedo pots. These are self-growing planters. And they grow your food for you. Yes, even in the wintertime. Look at that root system. Isn't that amazing? Amazing that it will harness that type of life under these harsh conditions where things are freezing. That's amazing. That lets you know it can grow over and over and over. You will never run out of food. Never ever run out of food. Unless you choose to. 
your food grows for a life. Kale's a biennial plant, but my gosh, look at my beets. These self-growing planters grew my food for me. I don't have to do anything. All I did was put my seeds in that planter, turn the planter on, and I walked away, and it grows my food for me. Now, the funny thing about it, these plants are actually returning back. They're coming back. Torpedo pie, all I did was throw my seeds inside that planter. It grew my beets. It's in the wintertime, and every time the sun comes out, my plant starts to develop and grow. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Torpedo pot grows your food with no human intervention. All you do is put your seeds in this planter, and of the 50 beets we've been able to grow, these are the small that's left over during the winter time. And they look fantastic. Look at that root system. Isn't that root system amazing? Man, boy, eating that is a charm. Oh my gosh, it's so tender, it's so young. Torpedo pot grew these plants for me. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so let's try this again. Let's pull out some more of these beets. Now, those who have animals, they'll have a ball. Oh my gosh, even got big ones in here. Look at this one. That's huge. Boy, more here too. Oh my God, look at that one, that's huge. Oh, I forgot that one. Man, dude, that's a lot of beets. Boy, All right now, I got one here. Sheesh, oh, look at this one, it's amazing. It's a really nice, good size one. I wonder how much these weigh in terms of pounds, I'm not sure. I think I got one more over here. Wow, look at that one, that's a nice big size one too, man. That's beautiful. Jeez, that's gorgeous. So I'll have a bag of beets to choose from. Okay, clean this out. I want to get the least of things out of there because uh, I want my seeds to touch the soil when I drop them in there. It's the microbial action of the soil that causes that hole to disintegrate. Even the seed, uh, you, you'll look at the plant will break through when there's water because it's compromised. But you want it to be biologically compromised. So the hole is used as food for the plant so that it can grow. Dyeradison, torpedopot.com. Let me see, I got three little small. I'm going to go count the ones I think I, are edible. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are small ones now, okay? Seven. We've already had our major harvest. Eight. Nine. Or eight, nine. Ten. All right, now the small ones, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these. I love this. Guys, these are torpedo pots. They are self-growing planters. All you do is throw your soil in, you throw your seeds in, and you'll have food for the rest of your life. I want you to understand what's going on here. You'll have food for the rest of your life. Take a look at this. Now this is my, late, my last harvest of the year. I don't know, I've got 20 of these things here. And I'm eating healthy food all the time for me, my family, my neighborhood. And I have food for all of us to enjoy. And the torpedo pot makes it possible because it grows my food for me. All you do is put your plants in this planter, put your seeds in this planter, and literally it grows your food for you. You do not have to grow your food anymore. Never ever again. Boy, it's beautiful. And I'm loving my food. I love what I eat. Now, I'm going to take these and I'm going to carry them in. I forgot, I normally have a bag here. Not too much to worry about it. I'll put it right here so we just take a look at it. And the remaining small ones, 
but I want to keep the greens in the small pot. You know, I hate throwing away food. When you have food, it's, it's just tough to throw it away because you just feel so bad because you know it's needed. And so I'm going to take the little small ones that are still sprouting and growing. Again, remember now, this is from last year's crop. And I'm going to take them and I'm going to replant them in the wintertime in a brand new planter. This will be my small planter here. Now, this is how you plant our plants, seedlings or whatever, into your torpedo pile. You take your finger, push a hole in, fit your beads in. Push a hole in, fit your beads in. Push a hole in. You know, it's cold, so try not to destroy the root. Put your hole deep enough for the root. Hold in, fit your bead in. Put your hole in, fit your bead in. Okay, that's the extent of my crop. That's why I don't want to throw away anything because they all come back to life in a torpedo pot. All you do is put your seeds and plants in this planter and it takes off for you. It's amazing what this thing can do. So whatever, you, whatever plant you think has life in it, put it in a torpedo pot. I've uh, even taken uh, beets that I purchased from a farmer's market. They look so good when I step by a farmer's market. And asked that you naturally grow this. They said, oh, we don't know. So I carried them home anyhow. And what I did is that I cleansed them. I took my beets and put it in my torpedo pot for one season and then watch the leaves grow. I'm going to cleanse that plant of all the toxins that are in its environment so it can return back to nature, to rejuvenate itself, to its true genetic inheritance. That's what torpedo pot does. It grows food with true genetic inheritance. It lets it express what it wants to be instead of us trying to tell our food what we want it to be. Let your food grow for you. So I'm going to plant these in here. I just punch a hole, put it in. Have you got some slate in here? I don't know how slate got in this plant. Oh my gosh, slate and stones are in this plant. Oh, unbelievable. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna save. Do I should I save this kale? I don't know. Let's save the kale. Oh, I always like taking up space, but I hate throwing things away. So. Okay. We saved the kale. Now, not only did we grow our beets in this planter, we grow our kale and celery we put celery in the middle of each one of these planters and they provided a celery and that's my celery right there that's my celery right here and so i eat off and it's starting to come back already so you will never run out of food food constantly grows okay so now i'm ready to plant some more seeds now and i'm gonna tell you something it looks so beautiful the soil is so rich oh my gosh it's unbelievably rich I mean, it's hard to find something like this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. Man, that is absolutely beautiful. So what it is is that we put the celery in the middle because celery seems to take off very early in the season. We had them as little seedlings. Then we took our seeds with our beets and we put it inside the planter, knowing that our beets would germinate and start to grow later. Eventually the beast overtook the celery and crowded the celery out. The good thing the root of the celery is still here and is in the plant and it's still doing great. So hopefully we'll get a good shoot out of it at the beginning of the year. Okay, now we're ready to plant our seeds. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I hate, I love my big planter, so I'm gonna move it right here. And we're gonna start planting seeds if that's okay with you guys. Looks really nice, the soil looks great. Remember now, we're in the middle of winter and I'm planting my seeds in my torpedo pot. All I did was take my seeds earlier last year and put them in a planter and it grew over 50 beets. These are the smaller ones that are left over for the season. 50 beets. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat them. I can put them in. I can't eat the leaves because they've been damaged by the cold and I really want them to heal and to grow. But I'm taking them out before that healing process to put in some new seed. 
and they're nice and hard, so I'll eat the bottom. And I cut them. Oh my god, I've been waiting on this so long. I love this. Let's put them right here just to get them out of the way for now. All right, so now, other lessons I want you to learn. In torpedo pot, you use the soil indefinitely. You don't have to worry about not having soil. The soil on this planet right here growing up is could last us, like I said, for three to five years. All you do is simply add to it. And that's what we're going to do. When I put my seeds down, I'm going to add to the soil. Now, I have to be very careful that I space them out, okay? Normally, I just throw them in there. But you do what you do and be happy with it. Now, the whole purpose of this planter, if you're looking for something that you can harvest every year and say, oh my gosh, look at my harvest at the end of the year, then this is not the place for you. Because we don't just do that and do it well, but we make sure you have a continual a supply of food in the torpedo pot. These bees doing 50 beats, these planters doing 50 beats, it's unheard of in the industry. Where you don't water, you don't feed, you simply put your seeds and your plants in a planter and you walk away. Every soil is different, so you may require some supplementation, but you walk away. Now, why is that so? Because the microbial digestive process that happens in the middle of this planter is the one that provides your plants the food that they need. Trust me, I'm no genius when it comes to spacing. I can't think beyond my stomach. I space it based upon what I eat. Now, it's good you have more seeds than the bigger planter. And as you go down to size, you maybe change the uh, density of the seeds that you have. But yes, I'm even gonna plant some in the small planter here. I just want everyone to start growing. Okay, put my seeds in, I'm done. My season is done, I'm, it's over, I'm done. Oh, I forgot, I gotta move this back and put this in here. I'm gonna move this back around. Some more back in there, in that corner over there. Probably don't need to, but I'm just a little conscious. I try to utilize as much space as I can with my planters. I don't like idle space, it's a waste of time. What? I, it's a self-growing system. All you do is put your seeds and your plants in and it grows your food for you. And so you stand by idly doing nothing but watching your food grow. These are beets, we grew 50 of them and this was left, left over. We actually are cleaning the field out of these beets so we can put in our new seed. And so we're about done. Okay, winter, we're in the middle of winter and we're literally are harvesting food, we're growing food and we don't even have to harvest. You can wait till after winter to harvest, but we choose not to. All right, so let's move on. So now, I, my gardening is done, man. Watch this, one, two, three, what's it gonna be, man? It's over. That means that I will have a continual supply of food. Look at this time it took me to do it. Our whole gardening experience is done. And literally no time at all, man. It's amazing. Amazing, no time at all. Always cover your watering stick, okay? Don't let your watering stick be exposed to any air at all. That's not what you want to do. So as much as you possible, cover those watering sticks. Otherwise, you got all the rules in the book are yours. The, be the bees are freeze tolerant, and they can, uh, seeds can normally uh, go through frost and thaw out, uh, I guess about once or maybe up to three times, I guess. That's what they say. But um, we've had our, in our planters, we've grown food in the wintertime um, through many different frosts. 
I think you're just fine. Really, really cold, cold. If you're going down in the uh, temperatures of the 20s and 30s, that's some tough temperatures. You'll probably have more chances of survival of those plants in a torpedo pot than you would have in any other plant. See the replacement? Out of 50 beets, this is the replacement soil that we're putting inside of here. That lets you know how much carbon is being grown from the environment to grow your food. Okay, that's about it. I think we're about done. I think I'm going to top my soil off, so just cover your sticks. Make sure you cover your sticks. You don't want any bacteria above the surface, so please always make sure you cover your sticks. Okay. John Radisson, torpedopot.com. I don't know what to say. I'm gonna prune these off. I wanna take that out and show you exactly how many leaves you pulled off this plant. I'll say it's about maybe about 80 leaves off of this plant right here, 80 to 100. And it's, it won't stop growing, it just keeps growing. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. John Radish, superfight.com. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.